This is a terrible story that happened to the Reimer twin brothers from Canada in 1967. One of the brothers was subjected to an experiment unprecedented in the modern world. The doctor who performed it was a widely known and recognized specialist. However, the consequences of his actions had a terrible effect on the entire Reimer family. Subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click the bell to get notifications about new videos. In Winnipeg, Manitoba County, Canada, on August 22, 1965, twins were born to Janet and Ronald Reimer. The boys were named Brian and Bruce. The happiness of the parents was somewhat overshadowed by the fact that the boys were found to have phimosis. By the age of eight months, because of this ailment, Bruce began to have serious problems with urination and parents went to the doctor to make circumcision. The doctor decided to use a cauterizing machine to perform this operation and traumatized the child's organ very badly. The damage was so severe that the medicine was powerless. Shocked by this event, the parents did not dare to give the operation to the second child, in whom the problem subsequently went away on its own. Shortly thereafter, the parents of the boys saw the famous psychologist John Money on a television program, who took part in a discussion on gender reassignment and decided to address their son's problem to him. By this time, Money, among other things, the holder of a doctorate from Harvard University, was working at Johns Hopkins University. That institution had become world famous for its online graphs of disease incidents during the COVID-19 pandemic. Money was a pioneering psychologist who, among his many revolutionary theories, suggested that a person's gender identity is shaped by upbringing. He believed that parents could influence a child's gender before the age of two. However, this was only a theory that required experiments to confirm. Just at this time, the doctor received a letter from Janet, the mother of a child traumatized by the doctor. Money convinced Bruce's parents that the development of children who have undergone sex reassignment surgery and brought up according to the appropriate gender model proceeds normally, they are well adapted to the new gender and feel happy. And this was the goal that the Reimer couple had in mind when they approached him. As a result, shortly before the two-year anniversary of the boys, the parents decided to conduct Bruce's sex change operation. After it, the child was given a female name, Brenda, and began to conduct hormone therapy, dressed in girlish outfits, and generally brought up as if it were a girl. Money convinced Janet and Ronald that there was no way they could tell their children about the surgery so as not to harm the process. The scientist considered the opportunity to test his theory on this family a great success, since it was possible to compare the result of different upbringing of twin boys within the same family structure. For several years, Money reported on Reimer's progress in an anonymous paper called The John Joan Case. When the children were five years old, he published excerpts from it, and in 1972, Money published a work, Man and Woman, Boy and Girl. And three more years later, in 1975, he published Sexual Labels, What It Means to Be a Man or a Woman, in which he described the forced transition from Bruce to Brenda as an example of undeniable success. Mani, referring to the twins' mother Janet, wrote that Brenda was much neater than Brian and loved dresses and ruffles. The doctor also added that Brenda grew up more stubborn and stronger than her brother, noting that she was a tomboyish girl, but still a girl. Money's experiment attracted a great deal of public attention. The world's leading newspapers, such as Time, for example, wrote about him. His work drew the attention of some feminists who had long sought confirmation of the theory that gender is an acquired rather than innate human condition. The miraculous transformation of a potentially unhappy man into a happy girl brought real success to John Money. However, the reality was far from what the doctor had written in reports and books. A former student of Money's who worked in his lab noted that during annual monitoring visits, Reimer's parents consistently lied to the staff about the success of the procedure. In the future, it turned out that Brenda did not really in fact perceive herself as a girl, did not want to wear dresses, was constantly getting into fights, and preferred active games and children's guns and cars to dolls. She preferred to go to the toilet standing up, and despite hormone therapy, she had a male gait and figure. She had no friends. On the contrary, she was the object of ridicule for her strange clothing and behavior. Even her twin brother Brian was shy and shunned her. Janet Reimer recalled, 
I noticed that Brenda did not feel happy exactly as a girl. She often rebelled, was very masculine. I couldn't get her to play with dolls at all. At school, they called her Cavewoman. And the twins admitted that Mani asked them to strip naked and simulate sexual intercourse while taking pictures of the children. The doctor explained that such acts were necessary for the educational process. Over time, in addition to Brenda, this situation took a toll on the rest of the Reimer family. Father Ron began abusing alcohol, Brian became addicted to illegal substances and began stealing, and the mother attempted suicide. In 1980, when the twins were 15 years old, their father took them to a coffee shop and told them everything. From that same year on, Dr. Money stopped describing his experiment. Suddenly, what was happening made sense, and I realized who and what I was, David later recalled. It was the name Brenda chose for herself after her father's revelation. The guy started taking hormones and had surgeries that brought him back to manhood. His parents supported their son in his decisions, only wanting him to finally find happiness, as David later recounted. However, the trauma inflicted on the boy's psyche by this experiment was too deep. He worried that he would never be able to start a family and raise children. At the age of 20, he even made two suicide attempts. But still, he managed to overcome his fears. David married his girlfriend Jane Fontaine, together with whom adopted three children and led a completely normal and active lifestyle. Parallel to his personal life at the age of 30, he, together with psychologist Milton Diamond, on his example proved that you cannot forcibly change a person's gender. The psychologist wrote an article about it, and in 2000 a book about David was published. Then his case again attracted the attention of the public, and he was invited to the ultra-popular Oprah Winfrey show. It seemed that all the troubles of the Reimer family were behind them, and only a happy future lay ahead. But in 2002, David's twin brother Brian died of a drug overdose, having previously been treated for schizophrenia. David himself was very hard to survive the loss of his brother, lost his job, he had a rift with his wife. The only source for existence was the money left from the sale of copyrights. On the morning of May 5th, 2004, David Reimer shot himself with a sawed-off shotgun. He was 38 years old. John Money continued his activities, enjoying prestige in the scientific community and receiving prestigious honors and awards. For example, in the year of Brian Reimer's death, 2002, he received the Magnus Hirschfeld Medal. Also with his complicity, Janet Frame, who later became a famous writer, spent eight years in psychiatric hospitals and was subjected to 200 sessions of electroshock. And only when she received in 1951 a prestigious literary prize for a collection of stories titled The Lagoon and Other Stories forced doctors to refuse to threaten her lobotomy. John Money died at the age of 84 from complications caused by Parkinson's disease.